Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 4 on the PC with a few mods in survival mode. I'm your host, Ghostfade. It's episode 57. I have a new headset microphone set up, and I'm pretty excited about it. I've spent quite a bit of time trying to make it look good. Um, oops, and I just pressed the wrong thing. Sorry about that, folks. Went back and checked OBS for something. Um, this guy has got his gun out. I wanted to look at quests, quarter mastery. The super duper marked. Where is that at? Oh, it's really close to us. Okay, we should probably do that one. Cleansing the Commonwealth. Clear out Parkview Lounge. Where is that at? It's down there by Diamond City. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about Parkview Lounge then. I'm not gonna worry about making Deacon at the church. We'll do that later. Long time coming. Where's the next holo tape set? There's one up there at that spot. Okay, and we're here at Cambridge Police Station. We did that one. So we need to go Lexington down here. Well, let's do this. Recover the reflex capacitor at the Super Duper Mart. Oh, wow, there's a whole bunch of other things that are lit up. What else is lit up? And the Nahant Chapel. Where's that at? That's way over there. Okay. I don't need to worry about that. Alright, so these must be all the, win the Eddie Winter ones that I'm seeing on my map further south because I'm seeing a lot of them there's uh... yeah so this is what find any winter tapes find any winter holo tapes there's that that's at the B F yeah the B A F T L regional offices and then um, notice this. there's one over there which we can head over to and that's close to Green Top Nursery so that's at Malden Center. I know where that is because that's on the other side of Tackett's Bow House. So let's go do this recover that quest thing, Quarter Mastery. We'll just turn that one on. Um, so to the microphone. For a long time I have used a microphone that sits on my desktop and it's not the best microphone and it's not one of these really nice professional setups that everybody else has that appears to be wall mounted and hangs down from the side of their wall or whatever they most of the people I see have really nice setups and they sound great you know and I I kind of wish I had the time and money to invest in that but I'm you know I'm not a YouTube person with uh with 20 or 50 or 100,000 subscribers so if that were ever to be the case, then I'd consider it. But right now, it's it's the 650 of you who keep who keep coming back, which is fantastic. But anyway, it's on my desktop, and then I have in-ear monitors, and the reason for that is because I absolutely hate wearing an over-the-ear headset. It hurts my ears, and I don't like that. Caverns, C A V E R N S. That can't be it. Mankind. That could be it because there's a D at the end. Oh. Fencing, F E N C I. That could be it. And then it matches the I. Oh, well, it would also match the N for mankind. So, it can't be that. We picked founded. Contact would match the O in founded, and it would match. The N in mankind. It's, it's, it's like this is four. So what about cavern? C A V E. It doesn't match four things. Managed doesn't match four things in contact. Control. That's it. Control matches C O N T, and that would match the O in founded, and it would match the N in mankind. It's gotta be it. So since I dislike having over-the-air monitors headset so much, um, what I have traditionally done is I wear I knew they were coming. Had to be some, right? Um, had to be had to be ghouls. Anyway, I usually wear in ears. I get these cheap in ears off Amazon that are really nice. That sound quality is fantastic, and they're twenty bucks. And usually, you have to spend like 
eighty to a hundred dollars on a on a pair of in-ears to get anything good. I actually have custom molded in-ear monitors for for a band use for when I'm playing on stage, and those are five to six hundred bucks a pop, but they don't have a microphone on them. So it's been really hard to find a set of in-ear monitors that actually oops, that actually have a microphone attached to them that, that sound halfway good and these are pretty darn good and I saw a guy do a YouTube video about them and I'm gonna I'll, I'll get the names of these at some point in time and, and show that off in the video because I think anybody who's like me who doesn't like to wear things over their ears because of just how how sucky that feeling is to have something clamping down on your ears. I really don't like that. Um, I really don't like that feeling. It gives me a headache in no time flat, and I really don't know how people deal with that on a regular basis. That I find it kind of shocking. That's it, Nick. That's what I like to see you do. Pull that flamethrower out. Alright, what else do we have here? So having a pair of in-ear monitors, or in-ears, having a pair of in-ears that have a microphone on it that don't sound like complete garbage is a pleasant surprise. Did he climb in through? Funny. Outside. All right. Let's see. Chemistry set. Well, ain't that a blast from the past? So I thought, if nothing else, what I would do is on this episode, I would try these headsets on. When I first bought them, and I got them from Amazon, um, I think they're gonna have to they they come with a single plug, and of course, if you're gonna use them as a as a headset and a microphone then it has to be split off because you have the pink jack for the microphone part and you have the they're not USB so you got the pink jack for your microphone and you got the green jack for your headset and so I had to buy a splitter and I was a little irked that the page didn't make it clear that you really were going to need a splitter for these. So, of course, I had to get back on Amazon and order a splitter. But once I got the splitter, everything seemed to work really well. And I've been pretty happy. They're coming this way, dude. Nick. They're coming. They are coming. Here Something we go, Nick. Someone's coming. Yeah, ghouls. You might want to point your gun in that direction. Exactly subtle, Thanks, dude. Take care of that, way. Oh, what do we have here? What do we have here? Doing the world a service. Can't have gone far. <laughs> Nick, did you not kill that guy? But so to get back to the microphone thing. Nice. Getting distracted. Um what I especially like about this is it frees up my desktop. Because the microphone sitting on my desk in front of the keyboard takes a lot of room. And then, because it's so close to the keyboard, there's really not a lot you can do to get rid of keyboard sounds. Because it's so close to it. I mean, I've tried all kinds of... I've looked... Yes, I've looked online. and I've checked out all the different filters that you can add to uh, OBS. And, unfortunately, those filters are just... They're terrible, and it makes it sound really metallic. In fact, I struggle to make this not sound metallic because uh, it doesn't naturally 
it doesn't naturally uh, boost my voice as much as the desktop microphone does. The desktop microphone has a lot of gain on it just out of the box, which is really nice and makes it easy for me to sound properly loud enough because that's something that we get a complaint from a lot of people at all the time is they're saying, I can't hear you, and I've certainly experienced that watching other people's YouTube content as well. And I'm like, whoa, you're... Nick, you did a lousy job of, of killing these guys for me, man. Oh my gosh, this whole place is just... It's, it's big. It's a big place. But look, there's a whole bunch of metal. We kind of need to clear this place out, don't we, Nick? Because look, there's stuff like this. Asbestos. Oh, Nick, you're making me laugh. Let's see what else we're going to find. There were. That, that comes on like it's a. Uh, that music comes on like it's something really big is about to happen. Hey, look! Oh, if we'd have come in the front door. If only we would have come in the front door. We could have. Oh, could have turned you on? Anywhere? Anywhere? Can you be turned on? Who has metal shopping baskets? What the hell aroma is that? Well, that, sorry, Nick. I had Taco Bell for lunch. Wow, what's in this show? Ancient stuff. Look at this shopping center. Let's see, employee only. Is this where we can turn on the robot? How come I can't turn on the robot? Oh, here we go. Can't do that one in power. Oh, brother! It's one of those. Some of them you can, and some of them you can't, and it always makes me wonder what Bethesda was thinking. Like, wow, well, what? I guess they want you to sit in this chair, and I figure you can't do it if you're in that thing. Heat. Let's see. Dead. Okay. So if it's the EA, well, it can't be the EA because dead would have matched two, so that's not even. So it could be can't be shut. Well, it could be, but not really. Felt. F-E-A. Uh, that could be it. I'm in. Yeah. Protectron control. Activate units. I should have actually a yeah, protectron control. Choose personnel. I want to be a uh, fire brigadier. Use your flamies. Okay. And then safe control since I'm here. So Protectron. So I'm hopeful that at the end of this episode I'll be able to go back and listen to this and be at least satisfied because this just saves a ton of desktop space and I really feel like it's going to help with um, some sound issues that I was. I mean that other microphone sounded pretty good, but this this is so much more freeing, so much less clutter on my desk. Especially when I want to drink when I'm playing, which is quite often. You are dead. Get all this steel. All this steel, Nick. And stuff in my way. I just think you're gonna get the drop on me. I've got all the plasma for you. Oh. Got it. Law and order has prevailed. Alright. That's what we like to hear. I need some aluminum, is what I need. I'm low on that stuff. Buff out. There you are, buddy. Good job. Keep going. Keep these clowns on the ground. Wine. Boy, I haven't had wine in a long time. I've become such a whiskey drinker over the last couple of years that I used to drink a lot of red wine. You know? I mean, not, you know, I don't want to make it sound like I'm a wine. I used to drink red wine when we went out. That's what I drank. 
and that's it. I just eventually kind of shifted away from that to, to uh, other things. The minute men were here. I see you, but yeah, you're not getting in. You're not getting in either. All right, Nick. I need to eat, and I think we're done with this. I think it's safe to say that... Hey, there's melons. Are you guys all ready for Halloween? It's coming, you know. It's just about here. What is this area? This is that area we were in. Okay. Well, Nick and I can go out whatever way we want, so... We will leave you to it. Go ahead and uh, keep the store clean. Let's go, Nick. We're out of here. Let's go see if we can find some more of your Eddie Winter holotapes. I would be really curious to know anybody w watching this channel if if you also have problems with over the ear headsets crushing your ears to the side of your head and, and it hurting because. I feel like I'm one of the only people that has that problem. The one thing that's going to be bad about this microphone set, however, is I can't, I, I don't think there's an easy way to mute this. Oh, geez, no. Oh, this is bad. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. <laughs> we walked out of that building and he's right there. Whole oh, and I haven't saved him forever. I don't want to make that mistake again. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at this. Mr. Handy Fuel everywhere. Well, that was kind of fantastic. Glowing blood pack. Lots of rounds of weapon. Heavy metal. Combat rifle. Minigun shredding. High speed. Brahmin meat, Gwinnett Lager, Deathclaw High, Paint King, Bone Saw, Death Fan, Cafeteria Trade, dude, you had everything. Now I'm I'm over encumbered, but we can fix that so easy. Alright. My people shouldn't be afraid to come get this because we just took care of Mr. Faticus. Jingles the moon monkey. That is That is just good funny stuff. Be interesting to see what people think about the noise on and had the voice quality of this, and if you guys feel I should go back to what I was using, because you know, voice quality is more important than than anything. So if you're like, ah, oh, this is no good, this is no good, you got to go back. Okay, then we'll go back. I mean, desktop space is just desktop space. So I certainly felt like this was worth an attempt, anyway. Nick, quartermaster's done. Let's go get you. Find Eddie Winter holotapes. Where is the nearest one? Let's go this way. Let's go back north. We're headed north, right? South, southeast, north, northeast. Yeah. I need a place to. I need a place to sleep. Who are these clowns? That that was. I love seeing that voice up there that I wonder if these guys have a bed this is getting late got a light on bingo Jed had a light on here we go where are you clowns at You're in that yeah, building huh? Get another turret. It's gonna be up in that building. Yeah. That hurt. He's upstairs. Where is this person? 
How come I haven't seen them yet? Is it... Okay. What do we have around here? We have some jet. Expert save. I mean, this is... This is such a, a short hop, skip, and a jump to That's it. Starlight Theater. It's not a big deal. This guy's have an interesting one. Place here. What is this? It's got that thing. There's a rooftop. It's broken down there. A really unique place out here, don't they? This is the person we off. Nice to see that. They got a place to cook. Where is Starlight Driving? It is due northeast. It's right over there. Right there. Where's that place? What is that place? It looks like something strange. What is that? Open windows? What's that? There's a light down there. Oh, it's a power. What do you think, Nick? Should we just go back? Just hoof it to Starlight Driving. Should be able to get there without issue, shouldn't we? I think so. Then we can spend the night in the comfort of our own people. There's all my folks. Look at you guys. Very nice. Starlight Drive. Love it. Starlight Driving. I'm loving it. Okay, uh, what I'm not loving is my character's hungry and thirsty. How, how are you guys doing for beds, sir? Eight people, 16, 10 beds. These are fine. Okay. Can't complain about that, can you? Squirrel on a stick. Here, there is squirrel on a stick. Alright, Nick and I are going to go do some more Eddie Winter stuff here. I don't think I've earned a perk from a single companion in this game yet, and I'm already like level 50. Ain't looking for trouble, I hope. Uh, dude, no. Oh damn! Here we go. Uh oh. Who came running in? Get in there. Get in your suit. Come on now. You're taking all day. Who are we shooting at? Who are we shooting at? What just happened? Who's this clown? Everybody's shooting at him. Over here. Well, see? Look at that. You guys defended yourself quite well. They were rust devils. Ooh. Rust devils. Idiotos. Okay, um, Nick, where are we going? Where would be the place to go? This is Malden Center and it's close to Green Top Nursery, so let's go there. Do we, ha we have a car? Malden Center, Green Top Nursery, let's go. Green Top Nursery.
Yeah, I'm a little concerned about this headset because it doesn't have... I'm sure there's a, a way to mute it and it's probably right next to my face since these are in-ears in and that's not going to be as as effective. Um, you guys, Green Top Nursery, how you doing? Let's find out while we're here. Defense 15, power 0, water 6, people 5. The only thing you guys don't have is just more people. I'm all around here. I wanted to introduce myself. Perfect. Anyway, I just wanted to say thanks for the opportunity. So, is there anything you need me to get started on? Not right now. Not right now. Thanks. Okay. Crop's been growing pretty good. There's gonna be. As soon as I can spend some time and actually... Oh, yeah, how are you guys doing? I should give you guys some more defenses, but not right now. They look fine, so Nick and I are going to go down to Malton Center and, and see if we can make this work. Let's figure this thing out, Dad. And if I remember correctly, more zombies. Oh, and there's also the Institute likes to hang out around here as well. Okay, what do I want to do about this? Switch to the other gun, because these guys... These guys can be ding -dongs. Slocum Joe's corporate head Q. HQ. I wanted to say headquarters and I wanted to say HQ both at the same time, and so I said head Q, which is ridiculous. Someone's upstairs. Where is. Hey, attack dog. Where are you coming at, Nick? Thank you. Looking Joe's. It's downstairs. Got some dog meat. Mongrel dog meat. Scolding. Wait a minute. Where is this at? It's right over. Oh, it's over there. Hello. Yeah, you suckers. You're somewhere. How'd that strike your fancy? This guy had something. He was named Laser Musket of the Rapid. Minus 15% reload time, plus 25% fire rate. Let's get this stuff, Nick, and get on to the next one, shall we? The Toilet. Where is it? Is it upstairs? Imagine if they didn't have these quest markers. Imagine playing these, you know, and that's, yeah, that's, uh, that is old school role playing game. I mean, they didn't, they, Morrowind, Morrowind's not going to hold your game here. That's for sure. I like it. There's some pretty funny memes about that kind of stuff. It's like Morrowind, it's off in that direction. Maybe, kind of, sort of, <laughs> find it. Message to Robert Cooper. You did good, Bobby. The wife and girl won't be saying anything. <laughs> no worries. Hell, once those fat life insurance checks start rolling in, <laughs> Mrs. Montrano will wish her fat slob of a husband had eaten that bullet five years ago. As for what happens next, up to you. Beach, sub shop, car yard. Doesn't matter where he ends up, I don't give a shit. I just want him in the ground. So, long as Johnny Sr. never finds out what happened to his little meatball, we're set. Eddie Winter, signing off. Eddie Winter. Ooh, look. Let's see. I can't 
can't hit that thing, can I? I can hit it with that, though. Don't tell me I can't hit it with that. Because I can. Alright, Nick. Next. Where's your next slot at? Here. Where's your next closest? The, the Nahat Sheriff's Department. We have to go out there for the Nahat Chapel E2. How, what's the best way out there? Museum of Witchcraft. So, Saga. So, if we go to Finch Farms, actually, if we go to the Slog and follow that road down, that'd be the right thing to do. So, we can walk there. We don't have to take the car. We haven't been that far east and north at all yet. So, we might as well. That south is this there's a oh yeah. Is this the bunker thing? I don't want to get involved with the bunker. Not yet. Yeah, don't want to do that. Because that is a... Uh, I'm reserving that for my main man. Lieutenant Dance. <laughs> Pal Paladin Dance. I Paladin Dance is Buzz Lightyear, and I don't know how anybody else could not see that. That is totally Buzz Lightyear. Yeah, so there's the. Yeah, I don't want to go over there. Let's wait on that bit, but let's get over to. to the Finch Farm area and the slog. Our boys and girls at the slog. Can you, can you imagine this is where we're at? 2019, the game looks like this. It's just such a far cry from from where it was when I started the PC game. And, and, it, and nothing was ever more clear than watching that uh, 25th anniversary edition of System Shock be live streamed the other night. It was just, it's, those level designs still look so fantastic. But you're talking about... You know, what was that? I mean, I don't know what you call those graphics, but they were really old. <laughs> they were, you know, really, really old graphics. Really blocky. Beds. You guys don't have enough beds. Can okay, we fix that? And it's just to see how far we've come. Video games. It's, it's, it's a little bit of a, it's a little bit of a mind blowing thing. To see where we come, in my opinion, I'm I'm simultaneously very excited about where video games are right now and and where they're gonna be because this is just I'm just really excited about all that. The graphics just keep getting better, and to some degree, some of the gameplay keeps getting better. And yeah, there are clunkers. There's always gonna there's always gonna be clunkers, but. It's for the most part seeing improvements. Oh yeah, these guys over here. These guys are a pain in the butt. A pain in the buttocks, Lieutenant Dan. These because these jerks just can't leave me alone. And they've got lots of them. I got a couple of named dudes too. Or at least one of them, I think. See if I can just skirt them for now because we'll be back this way. You guys leave me alone, I'll leave you alone. Don't leave me alone. Oh, yeah, baby. Sorry, Nick. But you no, know, they mined the road and I didn't see. Oh, who are they shooting at now? Wait a minute, who are you shooting at? It's got a missile launcher. Down you go. Can't see him up there. I see that guy. 
There you go. Ah! Nick. Sorry, Nick. These guys might be coming this way. I don't really want to deal with them. I just wanted to snipe a couple of them, so let's keep going. What's that robot doing? Who's this? Who are you? Settler? It doesn't sound like things being settled to me. What's going on, Nick? I'd like to be able to use that gun every now and then. What's this? Who's coming? Who's shooting at me? Listen, if you're over there shooting at me from there, I'm, I'm just going to have to shoot back. Bye bye. Oh yikes! Who's this guy? There's something out there. These guys are are gonna come after us for doing that, aren't they? This way, Nick. Let's check the map. Where are we at? We want to take a left here. We want to go straight this way. What's in here? What's going on? Long neck Wachowskis. Ooh, that's tempting. Are you guys? Uh oh. Who's this dude? Using cores. Who are you? Who are you? Raider veteran. <laughs> Not for much longer. Raider veteran, that's funny. That's funny that he wasn't hostile toward me. These guys are fighting each other. Pop in of those these shiny graphics are a little annoying. Okay. Oh, I know where we're at. Yeah, the Nahant Chapel. This is a place that you can turn into another settlement. And this is the Nahant Sheriff's Department, which leads on to this real, one of the coolest, absolutely coolest parts in the game. Uh, so should we do Long Neck Lukowski's? We do, we'll do this. It's on our quest log. Long Neck Lukowski's bottling plant has a bobblehead in there. Bye bye. Something out. We won't be bothering anybody now. Well, that's kind of the point. And the Brotherhood still loves to fly in here. I love robots. You can just take everything. Alright, Brotherhood of Steel is here, baby. Boing. Where are they at? I hear them somewhere. They're gonna come in here and raise hell, aren't they? Here they come. This is what they do. Look at them. You guys gonna sit down? Oh, nice. Good. Holy crap.
for Elder Maxim. Hey. Sorry, man, but you look like you were gonna eat me. Guard dog. Are there more guys still around? Yeah, I know I'm carrying too much, but. Nah. Let these guys have their fun. Let them have their fun, because they're the Brotherhood of Steel and they can do all that. Because I really don't care about them going after those those uh, raiders, because they're going to get their butts blown off anyway. So, And by that I mean the Brotherhood of Steel. The Deliverer, that's accuracy, wow. Uh, that rifle, let's see, flare gun, one, one. Laser musket with a rapid, I'll never ever use the baton. Knuckles. Double barrel shotgun, thank you. You see, because there goes their thing. They just got blown up. Alright, any winter holotapes? Log into to lock up Nahant. Yeah. Oh, it's in lock up? Where is it then? It's over here. There it is. Message to Sal Bosconi. You and I clearly need to talk. <laughs> about Danvers, about the Montrano mess, about everything. I think we both agree that our attempts to improve North South relations have been a complete failure. Look, I take full responsibility for the behavior of my guys. I expect you to do the same for that moron Montrano. But what happened in Danvers? I hardly know what to say. Your people turned that theater into a slaughterhouse. Those people are dead on your orders, not mine. And for no conceivable reason I can see. So let's meet. Just the two of us. Talk it all out. You name the time and place. Any winter, signing off. I'm gonna help you guys with these guys and that's it. There you go. The rest is on you guys. Have fun with that. I love that part of the game that that area over there. It's awesome. Alright, data says quartermastery report cleansing the commonwealth tradecraft. Long road ahead. Where is the... Oh yeah, it's way down here. Miscellaneous. Search for tech in the Nahat chat. I'm probably pronouncing this all wrong. I know and you guys are probably all wincing. And uh, if you follow my channel, you know that I'm horrible pronounce... I'm horrible at pronouncing... I'm horrible pronouncing words. Yep. Mm -hmm. I can't even pronounce the word pronounce. So, I try my best, but the vast majority of the time, I just fail. My, I am a true tongue tied, tongue twister type of person. I'm just. Right, I need some food and water. Food. What do you think about sitting down right here, Nick? And. Having lunch, excuse me. Jeez. Goodness gracious. Is that is that gonna do that properly? Hey birds. How you guys doing? So the Nahant Chapel, which I think I've only ever been in there one time. And then this this infested place, um, yeah, that's what we're gonna get the big boy out for this. Uh oh. First, we're gonna do this.
What's that? A bobblehead. <laughs> Maybe. Any more? There's one back there. A cyber mech robo brain. Let's uh let's go in that and then over there. Then I can feel a little bit better about the next part of this. Where's this robo brain? Where are you at, you hunk of junk? Are you upstairs? You must be. Oh, you're gonna die, honey. Hey, you got my leg. Darn you. Oh well. Let's just hope, Nick, that we can find some uh, aluminum, because that was the thing we were short on for fixing ourselves last time. This was a nice place once long ago. Gosh. Oh, it's a transfer. Can you imagine living in a place that looked like this? Ah, I have something about water and docks. I just love it. My, my folks... My family has a cabin on a lake. Well, not on the lake. Close, you know, the next lot up from the lakes. But oh my goodness, just I love it. I could I could retire in a place like that so easy. Just lake shore cabin. I mean, that was a restaurant, but still, it was really cool. Or at least it looked like a restaurant. Maybe it was a house. Where am I gonna? Up there, that's where I want to go. The, uh, the flora, fauna, the, the true grass or whatever it is, adds all these other grasses in here that are red in color and it always messes with the uh, HUD here. Okay. Weapons, explosives, fragmentation grades, we have all okay. crap. Be chewing on us. Hey, Gunnick. Oh my gosh, you took a, a uh, you took a load, didn't you? Look, I hope you got something really good. Plasma scattergun of the nimble, 75% movement speed while using the sight. I don't, I don't see how that's helpful. There's one more in there, Nick. We gotta go get it. That guy really took a lot of bullets, though. He was, he was Mr. Damage Sponge. These, these guys used to be able to shoot them with this thing and it used to work really well. Now it's like, mm, not so much. Taking a lot of bullets. I would have loved to have seen a mod for Fallout 4 that would have allowed you to fix walls in houses and make the end floors like this place we're here. You know, you can put boards over the top of this, which I end up doing. Uh, but I'd love to see where you could remove that junk and fix these floors and fix these walls. It would, it, just the whole process of rebuilding the house to look like something nice. That would have been really cool. All right, Nick. What do we got here? Let's go in here and see. Master. Sorry, that's the other thing that's gonna suck out. 
bonk myself on this mic. I bonked the microphone with my hand. That's it. Yeah, the idea. All right. Yes. If we're quiet down here. Yeah. Goodness. What happened down here? Alright, Nick, how'd that feel? Charred Feral Ghoul. Theodore Croup. I don't think this is the way he wanted things to end. 10mm pistol of something or other, I didn't realize there was an end on that. Of resilient 150% damage resistance while reloading. I'm not fond of those, but I'm glad that they exist because. The games like this need variety in weapons and sometimes sometimes what's interesting is is a person can take something that you think is not that great and they can actually turn it into a really neat build so I don't need to drink that water barrel cool there's a thing down here there's a battery awesome there's a safe Croup mana. Somebody's going to tell me that he is silent. Nice. What else is down here? Ah, cool. Uh, Theodore's personal terminal. I don't care about looking at that right now. I cleared these guys out. I really just want to see if I can have access to the manor. I've had problems with this house before. There's usually a, a ghoul that you can't kill permanently. And so he just stands there twitching and nobody can target him and he won't attack anybody. And it's like he's in a sixth dimension or something. It's always really strange. Okay, let's see if we can... Let's see if we can run this joint. Nick, see there's a motorcycle. Alright, can we do it? You can now use the workshop. Brilliant, that's what I wanted. Um, I need some people here. For starters. So, let's jump there. Hey. Nothing else I can get. Oh. How much can you take, you bullet sponge? Alright, what I want to know is can I build a a radio recruitment beacon? Can I? Can I? Can I? Or can I not? I'm going to find out. What is that? Scrap table knife. Crack, crack bowl. Yeah, this house needs to be fully repaired. Fully, I say. Oh yeah, that provides some resource there. What else do we have? Lamp post. Let's get rid of this car. Let's get rid of this bike. There's a few too many trees. Is there a way up this thing? Yeah, there is. Yep, 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 alright. Okay, there's no concrete. That's fine. Can I build this stuff? I need circuitry and a crystal. Okay. Alright, Nick. Circuitry and a crystal. Well, I'm sure we can make a bed. That's the cool thing. So, well, we still have a little bit of time in this episode. Let's go take care of this other deal. And then what we'll do is 
the next time we're at a settlement we'll send somebody here and they can become a supply line and then, and then we can come back and start building there's the lack of water the chapel well there's going to be something in here isn't there Let me guess. Ghouls. Hey, Nick. Should be talking there, buddy. Hey, what do we have here? No, no ghouls trying to kill me, crush me, destroy me. Okay, what's in here? Well, all right. Search for tech and found it. Sweet. What else is over here? Anything interesting? Cool. And there you go, man. I wonder if there's anything out there you can actually go swim to or anything. Hmm. Does big oh look, Meyer lurks. <laughs> Meyer lurk. All right. Well, it's getting late. It's getting late, Nicholas. Oh, and what's down there? Some kind of factory. That's. I think that is ghoul infested if I remember correctly. The Brotherhood of Steel. This place is pretty good as far as defense value goes because of all of these fences. It creates a nice area to protect from. Like, see, here's the, that one. There he is. He's dead that time. Wonder Ghoul is what I just said. Wow. Okay. Wonder Ghoul. Where's Where's this go? Wonder Ghoul. Got it. Oh, yeah, look at you, Nick. There's stuff up here. Somebody had a bunch of cash. All right. Let's make ourselves a bed. Let's see what we can do with this place. Oh, now see, taking that out, clean that up. I like that. Get rid of these ghouls. Get rid of some of this junk. Okay. Let's see. So what I usually do here, this is this floor part bothers me is <laughs> I used to try to stick something in here. There we go. Then we can get a bed on there. It's not so bad. Alright, guys. More Fallout 4 done. As always, if you guys like the content, please subscribe to the channel. If you have a question or comment, drop it down below. I'll do my best to respond. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.